Welcome to Southside United Time for Kids. It's great to see you again. Another week spinning past. It's the last week of term. Wonder what plans you have for the holidays. I'd love to hear about what you're going to be doing up to. Happy to see some photos when you get up to things. Send them in. Pop them on the video. Love to share with others. We meet on land that God created. And God cares for. And God allows us to care for. And for a long time, he enabled the Yagra and the Turubal people to care for this land. So we pay our respects to their elders past, present and emerging. For they have cared for God's creation. We hope we will do the same. God cares for us. God loves us all. That's why we say our prayer. So everybody up, let's go. Ready? From the top of my head to the tips of my toes. From the lobes of my ears to the end of my nose. From my back. To my front, to my wiggly fingers, God loves me, yay! Let us sing. Let's do something, we're up, let's active, let's do my lighthouse. Go! Wrestling and in my death, in my failures, you won't walk out. Your great love will lead me through. You are the peace in my troubled sea. Oh, oh. You are the peace in my troubled sea. In the silence, you won't let go. In my questions, your truth will hold. Your great love will lead me through. You are the peace in my troubled sea. Oh, oh. You are the peace in my troubled sea. Good singing, well done. Let's see if our friend Grover is around. I know he's gonna come this way this time. Ready? One, two, three, Grover! Hmm. I think we need to be louder, ready? One, two, three, Grover! Maybe really, really loud. Ready? One, two, three, Grover! Oh, Richard, Grover, what took you so long? Oh, I'm just, is it safe to be around you today? Is it safe to be around me? Yes, I'm not carrying any weapons or anything. Ah, oh, because I, I, I thought you might be trying to dress me up again. Oh, sounds like a good idea. Let's do it. No! Okay, okay. 
sorry, sorry. Um, we won't if you don't want to and you don't like it. Don't you don't like being dressed up? You want, I mean, what made you think of dressing up? I want the Bible reading for this week, and I, I thought it was your chance to make me look silly, Grover. How would I make you look silly? I mean, we could dress you up as a superhero yeah, and put my undies on the outside. Oh, yes. Well, I could dress you up as a firefighter. Yeah, and you give me a hat that's too big and I can't see where I'm going. Right. Um, yes, true. Uh, we could dress you up as one of Jesus' friends. Yeah, and put a big dress-like thing on. No, 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 no. Oh, okay. Well, this week, we could dress you up as a king. Yeah, and you, you probably put a crown on my and head of, that was made of thorns instead of gold, and, and just like they did to Jesus. Oh, you're onto something, Grover. Oh, so I knew you were going to dress me up. I'm, I'm out of here. No, no, Grover, Grover, that's not what I meant. I meant that you're helping us to understand the Bible reading. Oh, of course I am. How? Oh, well... The reason that the soldiers dressed Jesus up with a crown of thorns and a purple robe was that they wanted to make fun of him. Yeah, because a crown of thorns, it wouldn't look pretty like a normal crown and probably would have hurt on the head, but, but, but why did they put a purple robe on? Well, in those days, purple cloth was very expensive and very rare. And so only really important people like kings wore a purple robe and things like that. Oh, I should have just gone to Big W. They often have purple clothing there. Well, they, they didn't have Big W then. What? Well, they should have gone to Target. Well, they, they didn't have Target. Well, Kmart. Well, they didn't have Kmart. And... Well, well, they... How did they survive without all these shops? Well, they managed okay. You know, there were local people that would make clothes, and... but that's not really important. I think it would have been important to them if they didn't have shops to go and buy clothes from. You know, oh, um, Grover, they had clothes. So, okay, that's not the issue. Um, but, so the soldiers, they wanted to make fun of Jesus. If he'd claimed to be a king of the Jews, then they would dress him up like a king. And instead of treating him with respect, they hit him and they hurt him. And Pilate thought, I'll bring Jesus out dressed up like a king, very badly, beaten up, and they'll see that I've made fun of him and I can let him go. Oh, and they crowd all laughed and went, ha, 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 that serves you right, Jesus, you can let him go now. Well, no, they didn't. Instead, they called out that they wanted Jesus to be crucified that he'd broken their law by claiming to be the son of God. Oh, wow. So, so would Pilate put, kill the son of God? Well, Pilate hears this and he's a bit shocked. He's like, whoa. And he goes back into Jesus and goes, well, where are you from? Are you, are you a son of God? You know, I don't want to kill a son of God. That could be really dangerous for me. But Jesus won't really answer him. And so Pilate goes out again. And the people remind him that there is the Roman emperor and that anyone else who claims to be a king, well, they're going against the emperor. And that if Pilate doesn't do something now, the emperor might get angry. And so Pilate realises that to keep himself safe, he needs to have Jesus executed. Oh, so Jesus is killed because some people didn't like him and because some people wanted to keep themselves safe. That's right, Greta. Those who didn't like him often didn't like him because he seemed to be trying to take power away from them. <clears throat> Jesus is killed not because of doing something wrong, but because they don't understand him. They don't understand the type of king he is. They think he's a king who's going to take power. And these people want power. Pilate, the Jewish leaders, they all want this power. Oh, yeah. They're thinking that the king is going to be, Jesus is going to be king and powerful. And th but, 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 but Jesus' kingdom isn't of this world. It's a different kind of kingdom. You've been listening, Grover, last week. Well done. Yes, Jesus is about peace and love and caring for all in the kingdom, a different kingdom. But they don't understand that. Oh, well, 
That's pretty cool. Oh. I might go before you decide to dress up. We could dress you over. Um, bye, everybody! We could put your crown on. Bye! We could put a dress on. Bye! We do it. Oh, he's gone. <sighs> Good to have Grover dress up, wouldn't it? But again, we're reminded that Jesus is this different king. Jesus isn't out to get power. He could have at any time said, let me go. But he didn't. He knew what God's plan was that meant that he had to humble himself. He had to go through painful beatings. He knew he had to ultimately go to the cross. But Jesus was willing to do all of that because he knew that was the plan. We need to think about how we try to follow his example. Hopefully not getting beaten up and killed, but to not be out to be the most powerful person, but to be the one who will do God's will, sharing God's love with others. It's a challenge for us. We need to keep reminding ourselves who Jesus is. And so we sing, Lord, I lift your name on high, to remind ourselves that Jesus came from heaven to earth to show the way. Let's sing. Thanks for joining us. And if you'd like to do a craft, here's something some of the kids at Yoronga did last week. So if you're, if you're listening, maybe you can send us a picture of your crown. Um, you could get some gold paper. I just got this from one of the cheap shops. Get some gold card. And get some stickers. This is some stick-on jewels. And you can stick it on your crown and make a beautiful crown and then get your parents to... Do it up and you can have your own crown. King for a day. Hello. Or queen for a day. Hello. Hello. Welcome. But remind yourself, are you going to be a king that gets power? Or are you going to be a king that serves? Hello, I'm the king. Let me do your washing up. I'm the queen. I'm going to dust the house for you. Something for you to think about. Hope you have a great week. Hope your holidays go really well. No Sunday school this week because school holidays. And a reminder that not this Sunday, but next Sunday on the 10th, we've got a combined service. So that's going to be at Yoronga. Come along for that. It's going to be a great time here. Look forward to seeing you then. Look forward to seeing you next week in our video. Look forward to maybe seeing you over the weekend. Bye, everyone. Yeah, yeah. Because of... Thorn of crowns, uh, the crown of thorns. I can't speak properly today. Because the crown of thorns, you know, it, it, it doesn't. It's...